Friends, we have taken up this topic for a very important reason. I will only underscore that reason. We have discussed about meta era, metaverse, which we are probably entering into in next few years, or we have already started stepping into it. Uh, it is uh, the next level of technology, technology 4.0. Uh, we, this technology that we talk about is our own creation. We created it. We shaped it. We, when I say humans, we shaped technology. Having done it today, we are faced with this concern that the technology is trying to shape us. Hitherto, the technology that we shaped, whether it is uh, in the form of Web 2.0, about which there was some discussion, the social media, the other stuff, even the robots, this technology 2.0, or its manifestation, which is again our own creation, we now realize that it needs to be contained. Just as we have, uh, you know, Physical highways, we need to create uh, probably, you know, virtual highways also. We should have some proper structure for the, all this. We are creating institutions to regulate, control, and make sure that technology doesn't shape us. But we are entering into an era where the machines that we train will become more intelligent than us. That is the kind of era that we are entering into, which we call as meta-era or metaverse. The technology 4.0, the web 3.0 is that era where you have machines that are going to be more intelligent than we, the humans. So the bottom line is you and I will not be in a position to control them. Google has developed a new chess game called Alpha Zero in 2018. There are many chess games on internet which you can play on your mobile phone, but those chess games only know those many number of moves which were taught to them by the software professionals through machine learning process. They are taught. Those moves are taught. If they are taught 1,000 moves, they know how to make those 1,000 moves. Here is Alpha Zero. It was taught a, an X amount of moves. It has started playing against itself millions of times. Today, it has exp expertised in that chess game so much that Gary Kasparov can be defeated in one minute. There is no chess player in the world who can stand and defeat Alpha Zero today. I'm just giving you one example of how machines can become more intelligent than humans. Is that era real? I'm saying that is the era we are going to enter into now. I don't go into more description about that era, but I will only raise one point that what do we do with that kind of an era? Technology is welcome. All technologies are our own creation. We have to take them. All those good things are okay. But this new kind of disruptive transformation that is going to happen in next few years, don't think it is going to happen after 25 years. No, it is going to happen in next not more than a decade. We today already have artificial intelligence, the robots, which suddenly become the avatar of Swamiji's. This is artificial intelligence production. We are moving into the era of artificial general intelligence, AGI. This AGI is where machine has its own mind. What uh, the minister said yesterday, will be a reality. We don't need the minister to come and speak. Probably the machine will come, the AGI-driven machine will come and probably talk about civil aviation more fluently in a more visionary manner because it knows much more. But only challenge here is these machines have more intelligence than humans, but they don't have the heart. 
Today we have drones which uh, uh, can go and uh, any target can be hit by them. But there is a person driving those drones sitting somewhere in Atlanta, in Chicago, or maybe in Bengaluru. He's driving those drones. Uh, we have uh, General Atomics Vikramlal here. All their drones are driven by humans. But they are also now working on drones which do not require human intervention. They can think. They only need an order. Go and kill Ram Madhav. They will find out where Ram Madhav is because they can identify Ram Madhav through Google or something else. They will Google it, find out through mobile, find the exact location and simply go and missile him. They don't bother that here Swamiji's are sitting, bishops are sitting, Sabandas are sitting. <laughs> they don't have that heart. So remember, here is where we need a new thinking. India 2.0 is about that. That think thinking, India 1.0 was different. India 1.0 was the copy of Europe 2.0 or whatever, 1947, post-47 Europe, is what India 1.0 has been. India 2.0 should be different. It should be its own original thinking. It should look at these questions from a very original Indian thinking. You know, in Greek mythology, we come across uh, 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 a character called Cassandra. Cassandras are supposed to be the, the, uh, the priests or priestesses. I'm sorry, we should not have any gender discrimination. Priestesses who would always suspect, always doubt anything new. Whatever you say, they will say no. They are supposed to be naysayers. So they are always disbelieved. But friends, we need Cassandras today, who will stand up and question many of these things. But this is not enough to have Cassandras. The only last point that I want to make is, through its history, the human race, it has evolved. Somebody mentioned it. Technology has always progressed. It was never static. We kept on upgrading ourselves as a, as a humankind. We kept on moving to the next level. But whenever that next level happened, it was not just about certain technologists or certain political scientists who had engineered that transformation. There was always an intervention of philosophers. Look at the whole history of Europe. When they talked about what kind of political system they needed, they questioned the Catholic Church, but also questioned by philosophers, not just by politicians. Out of it evolved a better church. Out of it evolved a better polity also. We always had philosophers intervening in these, these, these tectonic transformations that have happened in human history. Today, in meta era, everything is decided by Technologists, governments, corporations, and Swamiji and Bishop Saab, everybody is only able to say that, no, 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 we are not against you. I'm sure no religion is against technology. But today, I feel we have a greater role. The philosophers have to step in and decide about red lines. Do you know that today you can get a genetic modification home kit for $150? You can sit at home and genetically modify your bangan. Those kits are getting available in market. Philosophers have to stand up and say, no, this is the red line. You cannot cross it for the longer duration of survival of humanity. There need to be red lines. These red lines have always been drawn in our history by philosophers, by spiritual leaders, by religious leaders. We have to do that. That capacity India has got, that is India 2.0. Friends, for doing that, first of all, we have to get out of the current debate. The debate on religions, the debate on whether we will go to hell or heaven, there has to be some hell because even for Hindus there should be some place to go. There are enough of them who have to go to hell occasionally. 
don't worry you will go through which religion you still have to go so don't make it a big debate who will go to hell you will go to hell or i will go to hell come we will discuss it okay but some people have to go to hell hitlers cannot be sent directly to heaven irrespective of which religion they follow they still have to go to hell so we have to overcome these debates quickly i'm happy puja swami ji has said that we have to uh, accept that all religions are uh, valid when he is saying he is telling everybody a hindu should agree that other religions are valid it's as much a message to hindu a hindu as it is to an another religious person that you accept hinduism as valid that has been the philosophy so some of these basics have to be quickly put to rest for us to understand greater discourse has to happen that is the reason we thought we will talk about meta era understand where we are going are we ready if we are not ready we are we are stuck in the old debate of last five decades this era will move on we missed the previous era technology 3.0 era we missed it some speakers have mentioned it we are going to miss technology 4.0 era also we will continue to debate who will go to heaven who will go to hell but world will certainly be going to hell please uh, understand it in that sense thank you we will have the last words from our uh, swapandas gupta ji namaskar